Well, getting back to local news, getting married usually means getting a lot of gifts from well-wishers, but one Beloit couple decided they'd use their wedding to give back instead. And News 3's Chris Gothner talked to the newlyweds today and shares their story. Yeah, Danica, you know, most couples getting married might ask family and friends for housewarming gifts, but Stephen and Maren Hawkins had something different in mind. We met at the gym. Mm -hmm. The Beloit College the Gym. College gym. A love for Stephen and Marin Hawkins that blossomed in Beloit. Actually, our dog Eddie is a part of the story, too. Yeah. Because I got him maybe six months into moving to Beloit. Uh, and was just walking him through the neighborhood. Uh, and then ran into her and she says, oh, hi, neighbor. And I said, oh, we're neighbors? I didn't realize that. So when their wedding day neared, it became obvious for Stephen, then a church pastor, and Marin, who works at a domestic violence shelter, to give back to the community they serve every day. We thought, well, let's contribute um, to, those, to those areas. Uh, let's make sure that once we're out of Beloit, um, there's still a, a lasting impact from our time in Beloit. They asked friends and family to donate money, raising $1,000 each for the Beloit Domestic Violence Survivor Center and the Wisconsin Council of Churches. It doesn't take a tragedy, and it shouldn't only take tragedies to bring awareness to the fact that addressing violence is a community issue. We, we really want to thank the people who donated to us as their wedding gift. Right. So we, yeah. it, it's kind of funny for us to, to get a bunch of uh, airtime of how generous we are when really all we did is ask others to give. And for a couple who's been around the world, a new adventure awaits. We've had a lot of shots for you, Gunner. Marin and Stephen are headed to Africa for the Peace Corps. And while their two-year journey will mean leaving Beloit, the city will always be in the Hawkins' hearts. So we're leaving not because we don't like Beloit. We're, we're leaving um, because we feel like there are, there are other places we can use our skills. Now, when they're in Uganda, Stephen will work in agribusiness and Marin will work in public health. They are set to leave in June, and while they have no definite plans for when they get back to the mm -hmm. U.S., sounds like grad school is on the horizon for them. Just something else to conquer. Oh, I yeah. love how they're still in the giving spirit. Fantastic. And if you want to read more about them, it's on channel3000.com. All right, Chris, thanks so much for sharing thanks, that Danica. tonight.